with two children in daycare and one being an infant, it's going to be closer to like, I predict 4,300 or 4,500 a month. Um, it's just, it's unsustainable. It's it's unimaginable. Andrew is one of many parents grappling with the possibility that their child care could cost more than their monthly mortgage payments. City News obtained letters from three daycares in the GTA, citing ongoing challenges with the national program and concerns with the new funding framework starting in January. Andrew's High Park Daycare warns if it does decide to pull out of the program, fees would rise by more than 50 percent. This is an existential crisis for us. Like we, we can't to it and it's happening to families everywhere that i'm talking to it's not just us and you know everyone who's received a letter from various daycares is saying the same thing like this is there needs to be a fix. Jackie Shepard with the private operators group tells me dozens of commercial daycares across Ontario are considering opting out as the funding framework is about to shift from revenue based to cost based. Now that cost based funding then will have severe um, restrictions wrapped around it so we won't have any um, allowance to to spend it as we've been spending it running our schools very successfully I might say for years and years and years. The Minister of Education says she has been speaking with daycare providers, parents and her federal counterparts about these issues and tells City News in a statement, Ottawa must provide more funding, lift the cap on for-profit providers and give more flexibility so that providers can cover their costs and create necessary spaces for parents. Yeah! Meanwhile, many families like Andrews are now looking for a plan B just in case. He tells me if this happens, his wife may have to leave the workforce. What is it like trying to get into another daycare that's in the program? You're becoming one of hundreds on a list uh, everywhere, all the, the centers. We, we reached out to one center and they said, don't even bother because you're so far down the list. Uh, your child will be well into elementary school by the time you get a spot. In Toronto, 87% of the city's 1,068 licensed daycare operators have opted into the program. Eight have since withdrawn. Shauna Hunt, City News.